hi. <laughs> Just trying to find something to show you now uh, from my couch on this hot, hot early summer day. And uh, I know what you're thinking. He's wearing that same white shirt again. Well, you know I'm not going to do all my gun reviews in one day. I'm going to do a few. But I'm not going to do them all in one day. So you'll see a different color shirt. Just, just relax, okay? Since I've already shown you my 1911, I'm going to move on to uh, one of my other toys, which has actually been a lot of fun. I had a little extra money with my tax return. And really, that's where I went uh, bananas. Uh, few weeks back and bought uh, bought several weapons realized that I was spending a lot of money on shooting I already had one 22 which was the uh, heritage rough rider I wanted to try something else and I went to a gun shop and I found this well, you can see that GSG uh, 1911 this is a 22 but it's weighted very very similar to a full-size 1911 it is full size five inches semi-automatic 10 round mag and it is a 22 and they only were asking and it came with a case uh, they were only asking $250 for it said it was brand new and I thought gosh how can I go wrong with that you know so I bought this gun um, took it to the range immediately I bought, I bought some uh, bought some 22 caliber ammo same ones I was running through my revolver which wasn't great ammo to begin with and had nothing but problems uh, first time out jams misfeeds failure to feeds all kinds of problems again i'm 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 new at this i i don't real i didn't realize that there's uh, there inherently can be a problem with semi auto 22 so came home a little disappointed did my research found out that uh, break in period in particular with this type of gun is very very real um, and i can uh, probably show you why you know this uh, this by the way the GSG 1911 you might see something very similar with the SIG label on it SIG Sauer label that's because SIG in fact uh, bought this gun and sold it uh, with their label on it so that gave me hope right there when I found that out that if SIG was selling the same model then it must be a decent gun and it is it is I just realized I don't have one of the tools to take it completely apart, so I won't do that. The problem was SIG probably kind of refines it a little bit better before they put it out. And I, again, I'll show you real quick. Lock the slide back. It's unloaded. SIG probably refines these a little bit better than GSG did before they exported them. Underneath the slide, uh, there was a lot of paint overspray and um, wasn't really greased down it was, it was pretty dry and that's none of that's uncommon you know that's that's some guns you, you get like some of those Tauruses you pick them up uh, out of the box and you can just feel the oil or grease on them this one was pretty dry um, that's a big reason they say that there's a break-in period with these is because you gotta kinda get some wear and tear on that but I watched some videos and on how to speed up the process you use some really fine sandpaper and just kinda work around down there and get it nice and smooth and get all the paint off of there and then the guy at the gun shop recommended uh, that I just put some gun grease on versus gun oil and I did that um, took it to the range it worked better but I was having a lot of failures to extract not a big deal took it home cleaned it again got got around the barrel very very good this time I didn't use any sandpaper or any of that I just cleaned it really good bought some better ammo bought the uh, I experimented bought some 1200 feet per second bought some 1435 hollow point uh, excuse me Winchester and really that did the trick I have uh, I know when this gun is dirty uh, every four or five hundred rounds I'll start to get those failures to extract that's the biggest thing stove pipes failures to extract uh, but otherwise it has been an absolute blast and you know what it's a lot more fun to me because I had to work on it to get it to work right and uh, that's one of the one of the things I've, I've enjoyed about this gun in particular was getting it to run smoothly and and it does it runs pretty smoothly now I have a good feel for it again as a 22 virtually no recoil um, my younger son my 12 year old can shoot it without a problem he doesn't enjoy it as much as a revolver I think he just feels like there's more responsibility or something to it or it's a little more dangerous I guess 
but uh, I usually put 100 to 200 rounds through this when I go to the range. You know, even the even the premium 22 uh, rounds are for 100 rounds, it's 10 bucks. You know, so this is uh, a lot of fun. And again, the ones I'm getting are 14, 35 feet per second, hollow point. Actually, they wouldn't be terrible defense rounds in a pinch. Anything's better than a sharp stick. You hear that a lot uh, from from some of the old timers online, and that's that's definitely true. But you know, 10 rounds. I have two mags too. If I needed to, you know, 20 rounds in a pinch could do a big deal. Would I bother putting through? I guess you could put through some snake shot or or whatever through this. This will not do magnum, by the way. You probably could. I don't know that it would work very good. It is a fun gun. It's a it's a primarily a range gun, a good shooter, something to get used to the 1911 frame with as well. Um, going in between the two, I guess it helps a bit. Um, it helps me more to shoot the 45 first and then go back to this uh, as far as accuracy because there's no rec I'm so used to the recoil and you've probably all seen the shot charts where it show you that if you're shooting over here it's because you're anticipating recoil. If you're shooting down here you're you're not anticipating enough and and all this and if I shoot my regular 1911 and then go back to shoot this I am pretty much dead on with this <laughs> I feel like a king even at longer ranges too um, and this is one too I like to look at the <coughs> the particular range I go to as the smaller targets I love to uh, aim at the at the smaller targets uh, on you know that are next to the big one just to get warmed up so do I recommend this one? I, I would actually. And uh, again, if you if you're gonna if you're gonna buy the GSG 1911, if you find it at the price point, which they still had them at the shop for 250, um, if you find one at their price point, absolutely pick it up. Um, you know, another magazine's gonna cost you 20 bucks if you want a second mag, but just anticipate having to put a little bit uh, of work in it. I will mention I didn't have the tool. I don't have the tool handy anyway to take it down. But the takedown on this would be almost ex identical to the, the other 1911. I can go ahead and take out, now that I see it, I can go ahead and take the slide off. You're doing the same thing. you got to get the little stop out. you got to look at the notches. Well, I can't take the slide off. That's right. Uh, because there's this little bolt there, and there's also a second pin in there. You probably can't see. There you go. Yeah, you can probably see that there is a, a little hex bolt there, and then there's a little pin that probably I could get to pop out. Eh, I'm not going to mess with it right now. That's something you got to watch. Those there's there's a lot of little parts with a with the twenty with this 1911-22. If you're not careful, you might lose some. But uh, I'm not going to bother to take the whole thing apart. I have to go get the go get the little hex screw and all that. Just trust me, it, it, it takes apart like a regular 1911. The big difference is uh, the slide moves a lot easier. Um, I cleaned this about 200, 300 rounds ago. It might be due for cleaning here pretty soon. Uh, this does have some extra safety features, this one, and maybe that's the reason this one was, particular one was so cheap. Um, it, might, it was built for California rules, which I guess they have, you know, you can't even pull the trigger on this if the slide's out. Of course, you know 1911s have the, uh, the beaver tail safety as well. Well, this one, you can't even, you can't even pull the trigger unless the, uh, the mag's in there. I'm going to go ahead and let the hammer down easy. There, there's my GSE 1911. Again, a fun gun uh, just to screw around with at the range and um, get used to uh, shooting roughly the same weight as a standard 1911 this is definitely full size same size and I actually like the grips on this a little bit better than, uh, than the other grips I haven't looked to see if they were interchangeable yet but okay fine I will change my shirt okay and we'll move on to something else maybe maybe I'll wait a day so that the lighting changes and maybe maybe I'll try to improve the lighting who cares I'm just a guy on a couch talking about my guns. Deal with it.